Hiya, I'm Ni, and welcome to a new video. Today I will be building a modern chef home. This will actually be called Modern Chef Hustle Home because I did build this to commemorate the coming out of the new pack. It is not that recent anymore. I think it's been like almost a month since it has been out now. Home Chef Hustle, of course. However, I wanted to build something in honor of it and something very, very modern, which is exactly what I did. This house is actually loosely inspired by a reference picture that I will include in the screen right now. It was just so beautiful and ultra modern and clean. And I knew this is kind of the vibe I wanted to include with this new pack. Cause there's just a lot of rustic or like kind of bright, kitchens going around and I did a couple of them on my own as well and they will be up on the gallery as usual so I wanted to include something a bit more minimal I wouldn't say this is completely minimalistic I definitely went like in with the clutter but still it is quite toned down compared to everything else it just I wanted it to scream money and class and like sophisticated and chef as well which is why I actually included two kitchens and I was very excited to do so it was so much fun you will see so i did work on the floor plan already and i will be working just now on the outdoor kitchen so i knew i wanted to include lots and lots of kitchen references so i was like what better than to just make two kitchens so there is an outdoor kitchen like a good one this is a like sizable kitchen. You know what you're doing if you have this kitchen. And of course I've included the grill and I've used lots of the Desert Plux pack because that is so, so beautiful for any outside build. And I used the black swatch of the Home Chef Hustle kitchen. And I thought it just looked so good with like really crisp, bright, and just creating a little sitting area over here as well and I created a little dining moment just in just like there it just, everything just looks so beautiful and like clean but very aesthetically pleasing as well and it's very monochrome outside actually but I think it just went well with the build So inside, I went for the green swatch. It's like a really beautiful, minty, pale green. And I thought it just matched that kind of soft vibe I wanted for the inside. So not completely minimal, but still a bit soft and not too adorned, I would say. I had a lot of fun playing around with the different cabinets, with all of the clutter. The clutter is just so good. It's honestly, in my opinion, the best kitchen we've gotten. Maybe I'm a bit biased because, well, <laughs> It was made by the European team, and I think they just nailed it. They just know what they're doing. This is the kind of kitchen you wanna see in the game, at least in my opinion. And it just looks good, it just looks superior. And like all of the tones, all of the swatches are really good. Most of the swatches anyway, <laughs> I would say. But yeah, I really like, I do have a bit of a quarrel with it. I do wish that maybe we didn't have that like wood paneling on every single swatch, because it's there everywhere. And don't get me wrong, I think it looks good, but sometimes it just, it could not be there. So yeah, we're moving along with the living room right now. I wanted to get like the basis for this house and not like completely go heavy on the clutter from the get-go. So I placed the kitchen first and then I went in and I did the living room. And only after this, I will go in and clutter every little bit and just give it a bit of personality, give it a bit more pizzazz, I suppose, pizzazz. That was very specific, but yeah, using lots of like kind of mid-century inspired items, like for example, that rug, that rug screams mid-century. Yeah, I also wanted to include this little dining moment that was in a sense adjacent to the kitchen. I've seen this before. I don't know where, but I've seen it in real life in the picture, I should say. <laughs> but yeah, where you have like almost like a slab of the island and then just that dining room connecting, that dining table absolutely connected. So yeah, I'm going in. I've already selected lots and lots and lots of clutter and I have a place on the island right now and I'm going in and just placing it in the right places. And I wanted it to feel a little bit maybe very cluttered on the shelves because this is a chef's home. The person, in this case it's a woman because girl, it's gonna be a woman. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted it to feel like this person cooks here. They know what they're doing, they've got all of their stuff on show because they use it. So I went in and I put lots of plates, lots of little sauces and like the, what are those, like olives or whatever it is inside. 
chopping board is always here to stay. So I wanted quite a bit of clutter on the kitchen. Maybe not as much on the rest of the home, but quite a lot in the kitchen. And I think it looks really good at the end. I think it looks like a kitchen I want, to be quite honest. <laughs> I would love to live in this house. This is kind of the thing I would love because it's also very remote. I built it in Enford on Bagley again because that's just the best world. That's just so good. So I had to. So I built it there and it's just very remote, like in the middle of the forest, but like a beautiful river running in front of it. Like that's what I want. This is definitely what I would love. But at the same time, I do know that I would love to live in a cottage. I can say that I love modern architecture. Like I love it. And I would love to live in a place that looks like this. But at the same time, that quaint cottage, small feel, I feel like I would miss that. I feel like I need that in my life <laughs> to be able to grow old and just feel very at home and at peace with my environment. So yeah, I don't know. I think I would live here. I don't know. <laughs> I still have to figure it out. So yeah, we're finishing up on the living room right now. As you can see, I placed the shelves. I've included a bit more clutter, a bit more personality everywhere. I just think these shelves are so beautiful. The Modern Lux kit, is it Modern Lux? Yeah, Modern Lux kit. That was actually done in collaboration with a fellow simmer, Zarela. It's just so beautiful. Some of the pieces are just so interchangeable and just work in different places and I just love them but I had to clutter it up so it wouldn't look exactly the same because we ain't having that. No, we're not gonna have that. Moving along inside the bedroom, I wanted it to be very like clean and like very like beige in a sense, which is not the best thing all the time, but in this case, I think it just worked. I wanted it to feel peaceful and calm and just like a place you could come and relax after a long day of cooking, apparently, because this is a chef's home. I did a really long and skinny room, actually. I don't normally do this kind of room, but I think it just worked well with the rest of the home. And I also included, um, what is that? A walk-in closet. Oh my god, I had so much fun building this walk-in closet. It's not really a thing that I do every day in my builds, but I think it just looked incredible at the end. I really, really liked it. And I used lots of different clothing. I think I used the horse ranch pack and dream home decorator as well. Yeah, both of them. For the clothing, you see, and then I used just a normal shoe rack from base game. And then I went in and I cluttered all of the shelves using, once again, the shelves from uh, Home Chef Hustle. And I just cluttered them with lots of things, like lots of objects, like the shoes from Dream Home Decorator. And like the little, they're like wicker baskets that have little, what is it supposed to be? Is it like towels? I don't know. Whatever it is. So I use them everywhere, lots of different swatches of the shoes and just make it look like proper, like a walk-in wardrobe yeah and i think i just like the way it looks i think it just matches this home is very luxe in a sense Ooh, lots so yeah i wanted to include something like a walk-in wardrobe so it would just reiterate like that kind of high class high high fashion not high fashion but still <laughs> something like that use the yoga uh, mat from the everyday clutter kit i love that kit god i need to stop liking kits i'm not supposed to be liking kits but i like them because they have good stuff on it good updated stuff so in the bathroom i wanted it to look very clean once again very white very bright and very like luxe I do have two sinks and, well, there's only one sim here. So feel free to add the other sim and add your favorite couple over here because I clearly didn't get the message. <laughs> but yeah, I also created like a bespoke shower room and then I added that beautiful greenhouse, uh, greenhouse kit, greenhouse haven kit, the door and I added it and it just looks like a beautiful sh walk-in shower room and it just looks so good. Finishing up on the clutter for the bedroom at the moment and I just wanted to include a couple of things from the book nook kit. There's a lot of kits today. But yeah, with this house, I definitely need to say I went overboard with all of the packs. There is a lot of packs that I've used in this house. So feel free to exchange it for anything if you place it in your game and for some reason you don't have one of the packs. Just use that opportunity to use your own favorite stuff and to just furnish it on your own as well if there's anything that you don't have but yeah I used a lot of packs but I just wanted to create a very specific feel and unfortunately sometimes when you want to do that in the sims you do have to use quite a fair amount of packs which is what happened today and quite a fair amount of kids actually weirdly enough but yeah I'm not too mad at it because it turned out exactly as I wanted it to so I think it worked at the end but yeah quite a lot of kids 
I'm surprised with myself. Also moving along to the office at the moment, I also wanted to create a little office because of course if this person's like a chef and I would say like a, a pretty rich IN chef, like maybe a private chef, private chef, I don't know, Michelin star chef, mm, the bear, no, <laughs> not the bear, <laughs> it would not live in this house, but yeah, so I wanted to include a office to just once again bring a bit more like class and like that beautiful vibe beautiful minimalistic but not quite minimalistic vibe to the house and i just used a couple of didn't make it too cluttered once again make it very muted in terms of tones all of the wood tones in this build are very muted and like very pleasing i would say all very nice and calm like anyone could live here We're finishing up the house at the moment, so I'm just going around in the entrance and just adding a couple more details so it feels a bit more lived in. And I also wanted to include the book nook panelling, because that panelling is just so gorgeous. So I just went around and placed it in key points within the build. Now outside, I wanted it to be quite minimal because if you have this beautiful, beautiful modern home, I don't think you would be having like really elaborate, flowery <laughs> landscaping. So I went in with some beautiful, tall and long trees and just framed it with a little bit of like grass and a couple of accents here and there, but keeping it quite low key because I think just went with a vibe, with a minimal vibe of the home. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe, leave your likes, leave your comments. I want to know what you guys want to see from me next. So yeah, stay tuned for the tour just at the end. And thank you so, so much for watching today. Bye-bye.